this is a big data set and it has all the problems that you'll often encounter in this type of data. It's got blank cells, there's inconsistent data entry, cells that aren't in a format you can use. When you're presented with data like this, you need to be patient and thorough in cleaning it up. But Excel can do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. In this walkthrough, we are going to get rid of some cell contents and split other cells into parts. First, we need to replace some data. In this data set, missing values are recorded as dot A, but we want them to be blank cells instead. We're going to use Excel's Find and Replace tool to change the dot A to blank cells for the attractively named variables A009 to X047D. You've probably used Find and Replace in Microsoft Word, and this is similar. If you work with data regularly, you're going to be using this function most days. For example, to replace words such as dissatisfied here in column E with a number. After watching this walkthrough, you should be able to do this. Select all the columns for the variables labeled A009 to X047D. And in Windows, you type Control F, that's F for find, and it brings up the find and replace box. Click on replace, type dot A into the find box and leave the replace box empty. This replaces all the cells that contain dot A with a blank. Click replace all and close, and there you are. As you can see, it's worked. If you're using a Mac, you will type Command F for find, or click on the little magnifying glass in the top right, select replace, and a similar box pops up like this one. Second, we're going to split the variable x025a into two variables that represent the code for the classification, which is a number, and the description, which is text. We're going to do this by extracting data from the left and right hand ends of the cell. x025a is made up of a number, a colon, a space after the colon, and some descriptive text with a variable length. So we want to extract the number and the text. First of all, add two column headers. We're going to call them Education 1 and Education 2. In Education 1's top row, type the formula equals left and open brackets. And you can see for this, the arguments are text and the number of characters. Click on the cell that has the source text, comma, one because you want only the leftmost character and close the bracket. You can guess that this will extract the first character of the cell from the left, which is the number we need. There we are. Now fill down. But extracting text from the right hand end of this cell is going to be trickier because, as you can see, the text strings are of variable length. So we're going to create one formula that will look for the colon, ignore the space after it and extract all the text to the right until the end of the cell. So type equals right open brackets, click on the cell, add a comma as before. Then len brackets 02 close brackets, which returns the length of the data in the cell. Then minus open brackets find, open another bracket. And the arguments for this are the colon, as I explained, you put that in quotes, O2, which is the data, and 1, then close brackets plus 2. Make sure you close all the brackets. Now this is going to count from the right and selects all the text, starting two characters after the colon. What we just did might make your head hurt a bit. So if you're going to do your own version, test whether you have written the correct formula by thinking about a concrete example. So in this case, if the string was 10 characters long and the colon was the third character, we would want characters 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. These would be the first six characters counting back from the right. In this case, we've got it right. Well, that's a relief. This formula will find the colon and extract all the data from the right of the space to the end. Fill down and... Aha, we have split the cell into two useful components. 